Varnaraja Mahavihara is located in Gampha district which is belong to Athanagala constituencies and in Mangalatiriya village. This is Aisha Nazir from Tiharia. Okay, so we are in a historical temple. It's an ancient, history, scenic and revered Buddhist shrine that attracted so many of hearts. And this temple located in Gampha district which is belongs to Athanagala constituencies. You should know why this temple called Varna and why. So Varna is a hasty verbal name. There is an opinion that because of the rocks that can be seen here and there. The rock on the top of the hill looks like an elephant. Va Arana is forbidden because Va was a tree and before this temple area surrounds with full of rich Va trees and a special feature in this location is that all of Viharanga created by caves and also in Pali language the exact meaning of the Varana is an elephant and the top of this rock almost looks like a elephant and so they name this temple as Varana. Hi guys, uh, hello, so have a great great day to all of you. So I'm getting ready to share with you some interesting facts and it's really really interesting to hear that. So we are in a historical temple it's an ancient, scenic, historic and revered Buddhist shrine that has captured so many of hearts. So, this temple is located in Gampha district which is belongs to Athanagala constituencies. From the history, this temple also meant to be a greatest treasure for us because this temple has a huge, huge history. And this is the one of the greatest temple called Varna Raja Mahaviharaya. According to archaeological factors of the history of Varna Raja Mahaviharaya ran to 3 to 2 century in BC. Its temple there are many caves with drip ledges. Various constructions have come up in the Kote period and Kandyan period and the later times also. So this temple divided into three sections. The first one is the lower section, the second one is the middle section and the third one is the upper section. The Mahavihara and a cave with all paintings, Chaitya, Devalaya and a cave found from the middle section. And the Avasagaya, Chaitya and a cave in the upper section also. The Giri letter for caves, the library and the relic house are found from the lower section. Okay. So this is a Giri letter in this temple. We can't read it because these letters called early Brahmin letters and it's hard to cut the letters properly. But no worries, I'll explain what's on it. So the text on the Giri letter is Bata Majimasha Batika Bata Tisa Dasa Dane. That's mean the King Devanam Petisa gifted this temple to Tisa Dutta Thero. And the Giri letter is belonging to 1st and the 2nd centuries. This is the middle section. This cave temple can be considered as a wonderful creation of nature. The reclining Buddha here was built recently.
and the Suvisi Vivaranaya and Satsatya statues are created by using with all technical paintings and the and also many freshers and painted Buddha statues are founded here. This temple is the first temple was built around a big rock hill and they especially got the name the Giri Aramaya like Vesagiriya, Chetya Giriya etc. And the paintings in the Varna temple belong to several eras. There's the most of the paintings are belonging to the Candian period and the recent period also. So the stairs extending up from the Pahangaya is the way to the top here. There's 125 steps to the upper section and so we should be climbed carefully. You can see this older stairs that was used in King Walagamba's period. Actually this rocky forest being a safe place during the time when King Walagamba was hiding for his own protection. After that, while King Walagamba returns to his kingdom and he done a great service for this temple, he remade statues, frescoes, paintings, stairs, caves, and he was repaired this temple totally. But from that we can see some oldest painting statues here also. And so there's an old pond found by archaeologists while during a research. And before that nobody know that there's a pond here. And so, so many of peoples and also according to archaeological factors, they said that there's a huge valuable treasure near the pond and also surround this rocky forest area. Moreover, until very recently, there was a large cobra that roamed this rocky forest area and there's a rumor that cobra may be protecting the valuable treasures here. So this is the end of our little journey of Varna Raja Mahaviharaya. I'm really really being thankful to Pianandha Thero Thank you so much, Tero. Vasara Dedas Tunsi Yakata Ehati Tiaktina, Aiti Hasigavan Raja Mahavihara Stania, Aisa Dienia Nibandania Katiate, Toroturu, Evagma Aiti Hasigate, Gana Helidara Kirimata, Tora Ganima, Samandavapi, Bong Satuino.